Bionic Flying Box. Festo is a German manufacturer of industrial equipment and automation systems. The robot you see on the screen is one of its specialist spin-off projects. Its engineers were inspired by the mechanics of the body of a flying box. In a state of activity, the robot simulates the movements of a flying fox. It's able to hang upside down, clinging to a perch. In motion, the robot unfolds its wings and alternates a flight phase with a glide. As the material for the wings, the engineers chose impenetrable film as well as lycra sheets. If you look closer at the material, you can see the obvious resemblance to beehives. Thanks to this special design, the robot can keep moving without going down, even if the fabric is damaged. It should be noted that the developers have equipped the Fox with an infrared sensor system that transmits data about the surrounding space wirelessly. Thanks to the sensors, this bionic Fox can fly in semi-automatic mode. Robird. The peregrine falcon is the most widely recognized and feared bird of prey on Earth. Robird design is ideal because the falcon is a predator that hunts birds from higher altitudes in open areas like airports and has the lifelike appearance and weight of its living counterpart. All aspects of bird psychology and falconry were considered in Robird design including the fact that birds have a keen cognitive ability and an outstanding memory. Birds respond to two things when confronted with prey, the silhouette and behavioral pattern. Birds rely on wing beat frequency to determine how aggressive a predator is. Robird mimics the peregrine falcon wing beat frequency with precise accuracy. Robird is a field-proven, effective technology for bird safety and damage mitigation. What are your thoughts on this amazing piece of engineering? Tell us in the comments section. Bionic Wheelbot. Here's another amazing robot created by specialists from the company Festo, which we mentioned earlier. Even if you are afraid of spiders, you'll love this cute little fella. The robot can move in fundamentally two different ways. In the first way to move forward, the machine uses three pairs of legs like a real spider. However, in case of danger, the robot rotates the legs to take on the shape of a wheel. After that, it starts moving and rolling on the surface, reaching a higher speed than if it was walking with its legs in the usual way. The second mode is also relevant for use on smooth surfaces. Bionic Wheelbot clearly shows the possibilities such robots will have in the future. Elu. For a long time, underwater maintenance or inspection has been a complex procedure. Fortunately, more and more engineers are working on robots that will make underwater work easier. Elum is a flexible underwater robot developed by Norwegian specialists. At first glance, it's clear that the robot looks a bit like a snake. 
its goal is to conduct research on the ocean floor. It's worth mentioning that the machine can stay deep for a long time, and it doesn't need to rise to the surface for air like a human being. The metal cylinders were designed to make Elum look like a snake for a reason. The fact is that this is the optimal way for safe movement in a liquid environment. The robot's equipped with a motor that powers it. It comes with cameras so that the operator could see what's happening underwater in real time. Crabster CR-200. Humans are working hard to explore the ocean floor. This robot was created to patrol the coastal area of the Korean Peninsula. There are very strong underwater currents in this region, so swimming in these conditions is complicated. But the robot you see on the screen has no problem whatsoever. Its powerful legs stand firmly on the bottom surface, so the submersible maintains the correct position for its work. While designing this robot, the engineers were inspired by a crab. The animal was chosen for its ability to move quickly, both on land and at the bottom of the sea. It is a creation of specialists from the Korea Institute of Ocean Science and Technology. This robot weighs 600 kilograms, and its speed is one and a half kilometers per hour. It should be noted that the front legs can be equipped with manipulators to perform various tasks underwater. Pluribot. To create this robot, which mimics the movements of a salamander experts, had to study the x-rays of the movements of a real salamander while walking on the ground or swimming. This robot was created by the scientists at the Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, Switzerland. The skeleton of this robot has been 3D printed. The robot's driven by electrical circuits that operate under the control of the synthetic nervous system. Interestingly, the vertebrae of the robotic creature are smaller than the actual vertebrae of a salamander. However, this was done on purpose to achieve a realistic movement with the available technology. This robot allows a deeper understanding of the locomotor system of vertebrates. What do you think of this robot? Is it cool or creepy? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching this episode of Technocracy. Please support our channel by liking and sharing this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the earliest notification as soon as we upload a new exciting episode. See you soon and take care.